Good morning. Welcome to Nifty Prediction. To join my WhatsApp group, I am charging 350 rupees per month. You will get uh, well in advance those predictions. Let's go to the uh, result for Friday, Monday. Nifty ended up uh, 11,346.20, opened around 11,392.85, high went around 11,398.15, low went around 11,301.25. Uh, I mean uh, Let's go to the uh, prediction review. Uh, in my data, it is shown evenly poised 4 is to 4, uh, averages in, uh, in the positive side. Averages uh, in the positive side 3 is to 0, uh, ratio evenly poised, and absolute frequency in the positive side, and weightage is also in the positive side. But whenever the ratio evenly poised means it is a mixed kind of thing and once again the difference is uh, 3 is to 2. I have highlighted that whenever these kind of uh, parameter comes we need to carefully trade why because it may end up in the negative as well because right now the market is having pressure on the negative side and that is the reason and uh, uh, the pivot is also in the flat positive but somehow on uh, Monday, the market has opened in the negative side. It is not even broke on the previous closing 11,419. It has went low in the negative average of 11,309. I just kept 11,301 as a low, uh, but it has recovered from that low towards to the uh, positives around 360 uh, 370 range. But after that, once again, it has fallen down due to the heavy pressure. Let's go to the prediction for Tuesday. The ratio indicating 5 is to 4. Once again, the differences came 1, so we need to play cautiously. Average is on the negative side, 0 is to 3. Absolute frequency is on the negative side, and weightage is on the negative side. It is typically like uh, Monday, but uh, the differences ratio is on the positive side, but the difference of 1 point. So, whenever the difference is coming 1 point, means it will try to move towards to the other direction as well. So, it is a kind of volatile market it shows, but with a negative impact. So, uh, no matter how much high it goes, uh, the Nifty will fall down once again. That is what it shows, uh, but uh, it will try to move towards to the positive direction as well due to this kind of. Uh, uh, difference so it is showing in the positive but somehow it will try to move towards to the downside it is showing in the negative but somehow it will try to move towards to the positive side which means it is kind of a volatile market but negative impact is having high these are all the ranges uh, the key note which we need to watch out is that uh, we don't have the frequencies in the resistance level one and resistant level 2 so which means uh, we need to watch out this 11,385 range uh, clearly if it is not breaking that level market will come down but the pivot is there around 27 points in the 90 side 11,318 anything uh, less than that market will go try to move towards to the downside anything above that level market will try to move towards to the positive side from the pivot level so we need to watch out those levels and the other key level is that uh, uh, the bullish range which is having 11,385 that is what 385 uh, it is what we saw so anything above that level the open target will come towards to the positive side so with the 10 point stop loss if we keep 11,396.86 which means almost 10,000 sorry 11,400 range if it is uh, goes beyond that level the open target will come on the downside which we need to saw is that the 11,251 that is the bearish trend if it is breaking that level then the open target will come around 11,241 with the stop loss of 10 points anything 11,231 if it is breaking then the open target will come for the downside uh, so we need to watch out um, uh, very carefully because we don't have the absolute frequency here we have consecutive frequency so minimum of uh, uh, 75 
I mean this uh, 55 to 87 points it, it is there so it has a good chance to reach that particular negative side no matter how positive it goes let's see how the market is voting if it's on Tuesday thank you